town apart almost as much as the original crime. As the jury came in, I got real shaky, you know, because I, I kind of knew that he wasn't going to get what he deserved. He deserved it, you know. Seven on the football. This would be a day when teenage innocence is transformed into adult maturity. But for Diane Stewart, maturity came much earlier. Well, you're not going to go in now. I got it. For those familiar with the triple X-rated movie industry, okay. Diane is known as Alexandria Quinn, seen here in an adult okay. film made shortly after she turned 18. But as an underage minor, she starred in more than 80 adult films, an illicit and illegal career that parallels that of the infamous Tracy Lords. It is illegal in the United States for anyone under the age of 18 to appear in adult films. But the lure of Hollywood beckons thousands of young girls each year, and some of them find the only way into the movies is through the so-called back door of the X-rated movie business. I never, ever said, I mean, I was 15 years old, I didn't wake up one morning and say, okay, I'd like to be a porn star today. It wasn't like that at all. I was a young girl, I was with the wrong people, and I started experimenting with drugs. Though she claims she never intended to get into adult films, Tracy Lords used a fake ID at the tender young age of 15 to infiltrate the adult movie business. The pornography industry was rocked three years later when it was discovered that all of Lord's sex acts on tape were performed when she was just a minor. Diane Stewart also used a fake ID to slip under the sheets in front of the camera. But her story is quite different than that of Lord's. Diane says she realized at the age of 13 that she wanted to star in triple X-rated videos. Diane, you came from a wonderful, warm family home life. How in the world did you ever end up doing porn films as an underage teenager? Well, when I was younger, I was, <laughs> I always had this dream, you know, I wanted to be the, the ultimate sexual goddess of every man in the world would, know, <laughs> would dream about, you know. At 15, Diane began plotting her entry into the adult film business by dancing nude in Canadian strip clubs. It wasn't long before she met another stripper who told her California was the place she ought to be. On the very day she arrived in Hollywood, Diane's childhood dream of being a porn queen began to come true. She had sex on camera with a man more than twice her age for a mere $150. I just remember feeling like I was going to be sick and I did. Uh... But the incredible response of that first film by adult video producers convinced Diane she had true potential. And over the next two years, Diane Stewart, or Alexandria Quinn, earned more than a half million dollars in her illicit career. Ron Jeremy directed and starred with Diane in some of her more recent legal films. To direct Alexandria Quinn was basically easy. She, she enjoyed her work. She always, always got into it. She enjoyed the dialogue. She enjoyed performing sex in front of the camera. However, as was the case with Tracy Lords, Diane's underage secret was exposed just as she was turning 18. Diane's X-rated producers stumbled across her real ID, revealing her true underage status. Everybody basically freaked out. She was actually crying about it. She did not want to be discovered. And she was very happy being in adult movies. Well, I knew that, you know, it was wrong and people would get in trouble. I wasn't supposed to be doing it, but I didn't really realize how big a deal it would, would be made of it if it did come out. Having already been stung by the discovery of Tracy Lord's underage sex career, the adult film industry quickly went on the defensive pointing out that Diane had presented not one, but two fake IDs. And how were they supposed to police young girls who so cleverly conned their way into the business? Nobody wants to have an underage person in adult films. We are more against it than anybody else's, because we are the ones who are liable. And there's no point. There are enough girls who are 21 years old who can look young. You don't have to hire somebody underage. However, yeah, Diane says if a girl has because what the industry wants, the IDs are of little consequence. Even the worst of fake driver's to licenses to will do. After all, hers did. The ID wasn't very good. It was... I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't have accepted it if somebody had showed it to me, you know. Because of the negative publicity surrounding the discovery of her illegal underage sex videos, Diane's porn career is over. She's now returned to Canada to dance in adult clubs. Returning career behind her. But just as she and Tracy Lords rocked the industry with their underage sex films, Diane knows Probably. it will I mean, happen I again. Did.
You know, I mean, I'm not the first, I won't be the last. Well, there is now a move to require women to be 21 years old in order to appear in an X-rated film, but still no longer.